What's up my friends, welcome back to another project related with this 3D printed tank which would be the version 2 from this one. This is a project that we have already seen on this channel and remember this tank is all 3D printed except the main case which is made out of wood to spare some time but the rest of the parts are 3D printed but as you can see now it is broken because I wanted to improve this and make it even bigger to have more space to fit more things inside. As you can see right now this tank, tank is not uh, ready yet but in this video I'll show you the process uh, that I had uh, till now and then we'll see the design in Blender which is the software that I use to design this, uh, the parts for this tank and we'll see each part that I will have for this uh, future project when I will finish it. For now as you can see we have the main case, we have the skirt and the frame, the middle frame and now that I have this entire frame I can start designing the upper part which will be the turret that will move and will have the, the cannon and maybe I'll add the smoke machine inside, a BB gun and so on. We also have the wheels and each wheel has uh, bearings. We have the suspension support and all the improvements compared with this one. And remember that this one you could control this with a Bluetooth app from your smartphone or with the radio controller. And it had sounds, it has two DC motors, some servo motors to move the turret and so on. But this will have a lot more than that. First of all, you have a lot more space for battery. Let me take this out. So as you can see, we have a lot more space inside so we can add the different type of motors, in this case brushless motors. We can have more space for speakers, more battery. We also have suspensions and a lot more details. And finally, of course, I will paint it all because as you can see right now, it's made out of different colors and everything will be 3D printed except this plate, this plate here, which is made out of wood. But if you want, I'll also share with you the plates that you want if you want to 3D print those. But that will be a little bit ugly because you have to divide it in six or eight because otherwise this is so big that it won't fit on the plate of the 3D printers, which usually are 300 by 300 millimeters. So guys, in this video, you will see all the parts that I have till now and the process to get from nothing till this. And then we'll see in Blender all the parts that I'm planning in the future. So I hope that you like this video and make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So let's get started. Hey guys, before we start with this project, a quick word from the sponsor of this video, GLC PCB. They are a PCB manufacturer from China with more than 10 years of experience. And if you have any design of, uh, in a CAD platform for a PCB, you can send those PCBs and for only $2, you can get five PCBs like this one of any color that you want for the solder mask. And not just that, this could be for two layers, four layers, or even six layers. At the same time, you could also order the stencil for the SMD soldering and it's a piece of steel with holes that will help you to place the paste for the SMD soldering and then just place your components and reflow the entire PCB. And that for just a few more dollars. And now a new product that they have is the SMT soldering service. And with this service, you will send the PCB and your components and the pick and place file and they will solder all the components for you as I did for this PCB here. As you can see, all I had to do is to send the file the pick and place for the components and GLC PCB solder all the components for me. In this way, you will receive the final product. So you could sell it, you could use it for your project and so on. So go to the link below to glcpcb.com, upload your Gerber files and your files for the pick and place and try all these services. So let's continue with this project. What's up my friends, welcome back. Remember that the final objective for this project is to get the same 3D printed tank from a few years back to double the scale. That will give us more space for details, better mechanism for the moving parts of the turret, better speakers, better motors, more battery space and who knows what we could add in the future. Also remember that this will be an ongoing project because I can design the upper parts and the details till I don't have the bottom part of the tank. The bottom case of the old and smaller version is made out of wood. But now I've took the time and designed and printed all the parts needed for the bottom case as well. Printing all these parts took me a lot of time, but like this I would have more precise details that we will see in a moment. In today's video we will make just a part of this tank and the rest in a future video. So let's see what parts I have till now. So first I have these two boxes full of tracks, which I'm not sure yet if this will be enough. But if I need more I will print more. These were printed with black PLA material at 20% infill and two perimeters. I will try to use the PLA filament and join the tracks together one with the next one. The hole is big enough, so we can pass some printing filament and then just melt the ends of the filament and like that we join the parts together. So use a lighter, melt the plastic, press against the plastic to make it wider and that's it. 
and if not, you could use a metal wire like this one, but that could be heavier and more stiff. You decide which one to use, but I really like the idea of using the printing filament for this job. And printing all these tracks took me like 2 or 3 days, with two printers at the same time, so have that in mind. Ok, so next we have the 6 big parts for the bottom case that we have talked before. These have different color, but that doesn't matter, because I will finally paint the entire tank to make it look better. As you can see, each one is quite big, and each took me around 12 hours of printing with 0.3mm layer height and 2 perimeters, and also PLA material. I've made this part in such a way that you could print them on a 300 by 300 printer, which nowadays is quite common. They all have some strong parts and holes, so we could join them together with entry screws and create a strong bottom case for our tank. These two here are the front part of the tank. You can see here that we have some supports and two long holes. I will use these supports and place here the main rod and the gear wheel. This will be an 8mm smooth rod together with two bearings and two rod rings. As you can see it gets fixed in place like this and then I will add a gear to this rod. That gear will be connected to some brushless motors like these ones. And if you remember the last time with the last version I've used DC motors with a gearbox. And those were quite good but I want to try brushless motors now. This will be controlled with an electronic speed controller. These motors together with the GT2 belt will be fixed in place on these rails. And then I'll use this to pull back the motors and tension the belt. Now on the side of this main case as you can see we have these strange shape holes. This is yet another improvement from the last version, because this will be used for the suspension system for each wheel. This is an example right here. The wheel will be connected to a long screw, which together with the bearing is connected to a small 3D printed part. This screw will also be connected to the tank case, and the small printed part will have some sort of spring like this one. In this way the wheels will have some sort of suspension. I'm already pretty sure that I will have to buy a stronger spring than this one because this is too weak. Anyway, each wheel on each side will have one. Now let's see the middle frame. For that we have these 6 parts. This also have some holes and supports for the screws. This entire part will be later screw on top of the bottom case. And then we have the front part of the tank with the gunner and the driver holes. And finally we have 8 parts for the tank skirt. With all these parts we could make the bottom and the middle part of the tank. And by the way we also have these 4 bars, that will be used to keep the springs for the suspension in place. Ok, so finally we have all the wheels. We have 3 types of wheels. The thick one, the midi one and the tension wheel to pull back the tracks. So these are all the parts that I have for now and I will be mounting in this video. In future videos I will design and print the rest of the parts. To start, first thing first is to mount the main bottom case. So get those 6 parts and a few M3 screws and join them together. And by the way for this project you will need a lot of screws, some nuts, washers, bearings, springs, rods and so on. Once the project is complete I will share all the 3D files and the part list with you guys. So please stay tuned for the next video. Ok, so I first screw in place each side. Then when I have 2 parts I will join these together. I've used M4 screws of 50mm and you will need a lot of them. Also make sure that you use washers so they will apply even force on the plastic and don't break it. Now we should add all the wheels. But first we need to add the bearings. I'm using some small 11mm diameter bearings. We have one on each side of each wheel. Ok so next we need a long screw or to use a threaded rod like this one and cut it to size. So for this I cut a 10cm screw. Then we have to place the wheels in such a way to fit ok on top of the tracks. The two types of thin wheels like this and then we have the thick wheel in the middle. And also make sure that you have some clearance from the tank case so the tracks won't touch it. Ok so at this point I realized that the suspension 3D printed part must be a lot thicker and with the bearing on each side because with only one bearing the part will move too much. This part is too thin and won't be able to support the entire weight of the final tank without wobbling. So I won't be able to finish the track system for today neither, but I will improve the design for next week. 
Till then I can prepare all the screws and the bearings for all the wheels to have them prepared. Ok, at this point I could also screen place the middle part of the tank, so we could then think how to design the upper part. So take those 6 pretty parts and using some more screws, create the middle frame of the tank. When you have all the screws in place, you can put this entire frame over the main bottom case. This middle frame has some small screw holes, but this version of the bottom case doesn't have holes below, but the final version will have those. So for now I will use some epoxy to join the main case and this frame together. This middle frame must go till the start of this angle part of the front of the tank. So glue it in place like this. At this point I could also glue the gunner and the driver part. But I won't do that because I want to still have access to the gear system below with the motors and the rods. So I won't glue that for now. But I will glue these two parts together and store it for later. All I have left for now are the skirts. We have 8 printed parts for that. I will use this type of screws to fix this in place. So just add 2 screws for each on the side of the tank. You have some pre-made holes, so you will know where to place each one so they will have the same angle as the real tank. And there you go, this is all that I have for this video, but now I can design the rest. Now here on top of the tank we need a huge plain board. So we could print that too, but it would be very ugly, because I need to divide it into 6 as the rest of the parts, so it could fit on the printer. So instead I'm planning to use balsa wood for this part, and just add the rest of the details later with the 3D printed parts. So that will spare me a lot of work and also look better. Since I can't follow more for today, let's take a look at the design in the editing software. And I'm using Blender as always. Ok, so for now we have mounted this main case. On the front part of the tank we'll have the gear wheel connected to a smooth rod with bearings. And to this I will attach the gear with the belt connected to the brushless motor. Then on the other side we'll have the tension wheel on the back of the tank fixed in place with a screw. We will use this to pull back the tracks and add tension. Then between these two wheels we'll have other wheels on each side to support the tracks. 4 thick ones and 8 thinner ones. Remember that each wheel will be connected to some sort of suspension system which I'll still have to improve. On top of this case we already have the middle frame. On the side of this frame we have the skirts, 4 on each side. On the front part we have those parts for the gunner and the driver holes. And then on top of this frame we have the plywood board, or if you want you can just 3D print the parts that I will also share with you. I will later have to cut this shape from the plywood. And on this big hole and these 3 screw holes, I will later add the thread system which is not ready yet. Then I will print these small details such as the driver exit door, some wood boxes and the vents grid on the rear side of the tank. On the rear part I will add some more details, such as the exhaust, some more skirts and bumpers and some hooks as well. The thread is not ready yet. This is the old design which I will improve. I would like to add inside maybe a smoke machine, and also this small automatic BB gun, so I could fire BBs with the radio controller. Maybe I will also add this high voltage module for sparks effects. Inside of the case there is plenty of room for more battery and better speaker systems for better sounds. Remember that the first version also had sounds for the engine and when I fire a projectile. I will also like to make the cannon retract each time that I fire a new projectile, and all that for the next part of this project. So guys, this was the update for the second and better version of the 3D printed Tiger 1. There is still a lot more to do, so stay tuned for the future updates soon. I will share with you all you need for this project, the new PCB that will arrive soon, the schematic, the part list and the guide, and all the 3D files when they are ready and tested. So make sure that you subscribe and activate the bell so you will see the next update. Also give a like to this video if you like my work. So thanks again and see you later guys.